All right, YouTube, what's up? It's your boy, Original Dog Man. Um, I'm going to post up another video after this one, but I did try for y'all. Kevin Samuels, Big Bear Business, and uh, Fragrance Bowtie Guy was on a live stream. I went up in there. I tried to get that dude's attention, but he want me to pay to talk to him. I ain't paying that motherfucker one red cent. Um, you know, I want to question the dude, but the dude just ignored me. So, hey, I did try for y'all, man. Um, you know, those stuff I wanted to ask this dude and put him out there and, and really see what he's about. But obviously, this dude is just hiding and he hiding behind his bullshit. He won't be exposed or he won't. He doesn't want to be exposed, but he's already exposed. So many people that came forward, at least right now, total of seven. And few of them don't want to, I don't think they want to be on video or audio. So I let them slide. Um, if you guys want to be on video or, or audio, I'm telling your side of the story uh, with your experiences with Kevin Samuels, the more people, the better. The more people will see and hear about this dude. And his scams and his shenanigans, then um, then hit me up, man. You guys know my number five zero four two four seven four seven seven one. I'm not afraid to put it out there. John Castro is my real name. You can look me up. I'm not hard to find. Um, so with that being said, man, I'm gonna post a screenshot up, show you guys where I actually typed in there, whether he was saying some bull, talking about some stuff, and I, I just I just went off in there, and I. I I spammed the room a little bit. They said, if you want to talk to me, you're going to pay me. I was like, Bush, I ain't paying you. Not. I'm not paying that motherfucker one thing to ask him a question. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I will put that dude out there because he needs to be put out there. Be his, all his bull and his BS that he does to people, it needs to be It needs to be spoken. You know, um, A lot of people don't understand, so I'm going to speak on it. You feel me? So what's understood doesn't need to be spoken, right? But this shit is not understood. People do not understand this dude. People do not understand how he's manipulating money and basically stealing. And some people will say, oh, it, you know, the legalities of it and whatnot. Look, the dude is scamming people. All right. I believe you got to pay $300 for a consultation with this dude. Motherfucker, who the fuck are you? A lawyer? A doctor? The fuck? Fuck wrong with you. You think you, we got to pay you $300 for that shit? That's a scam, y'all. That's a straight scam. You know, and, and then lifetime advice is $2,500. That's a scam, y'all. You can get lifetime advice by reading a fucking magazine yourself. So this is the stuff that y'all need to peep game on and really understand. This dude is scamming people left and motherfucking right. And right now, he's using Big Bear Business and Fragrance Bowtie Guy. And I'm guessing... They know they're also using him, all right? And what it's called, what they're doing, and no disrespect, really, honestly, no disrespect to Big Bear Business. And I actually like this dude, and I actually like Bowtie Fragrance Guy. Maybe they're both grabbing, you know, all three of them are grabbing each other's subscribers or whatever, trying to blow their channel up, trying to be known in this community, this fragrance community, right? But Kevin Samuels is trying to stay relevant, in this fragrance community. And it's very hard for him to do. Because more people are speaking out on this shit. And more people know about it. Just the other day. Killer Frag spoke out about it. Um, um, George the Fragrance App Apprentice. Spoke out about it. Eugene and, and Jonathan. Spoke out about it. Now what you need. Honestly is I wish. But I don't know if it's going to happen. I wish Timmy. And, and Manny and Ashton speak out about this motherfucker at least on a live on somebody's live stream, so that other people will fucking see it and know it and hear it later. It's always good to have multiple people speak up behind some bullshit that we all know is happening, right? We all know this shit is happening. And if you want to remain a family and you want to remain a unit as a fragrance com community, as Fragcom, as a unit. We got to fucking, we got to dish out the shit. We got to call out the bullshit. That's all it is, man. That's all it is. Call out the bullshit on yourself sometimes, you know. People, many people have come to me, John, I know, I know I accept royalties. I know I, I do, I do a little corporate, college. that's my, that's my sin. As long as you admit that shit. You admit that shit to Frycom and you admit it to the people, people going to know. At least you real with it, man. But if you hiding and hiding behind the facade and not really admitting the shit, man. 
then you're not really letting people know what's really up with you. You know, some people don't want at least be up front. Disclaimers, man. That's what disclaimers are for. Being up front, like straight up. I don't accept this shit or I accept this shit. Right? That's what you do. But this Kevin Samuels is doing more than that. He's going above and beyond the level of fucking over somebody. This motherfucker is really, honestly, he could ruin lives. Literally ruin lives with the, with the, the antics and the shit that he does. And this shit is not hunches or anecdotals or anything like this. It is, it's not anecdotal. It's not anecdotes. It's, it's straight up, you know this motherfucker is fucking over people. Right? So many people have spoke out about this dude. Straight up. You want to back this dude? That's on y'all, man. I don't want to back this dude. I want this dude to admit his bullshit. That's just what it is. So this is why I'm making this video. I'm letting y'all know that I'm not letting this dude slide. All right? I'm not going to go every day to his live streams and fuck with the dude. Right? I'm not going to do it. But I did call him out. Why? Because people were telling me. I was in DB's live stream just now. And people were telling me, Kevin Samuels, Big Bear Business, Bowtie Man, bow, uh, they're in the live stream. Fuck. You think I'm not going to fucking go? You think I'm not going to throw in some words in that fucking live stream and try to call his ass out? Shit, you crazy. I'm the fucking dog. I'll call everybody out in this bitch. Look, plain and simple, man. I'm going to post the screenshots after this so you guys can see it. It's your boy, Rhythm Dog, man. This is the best I can do for y'all right now. Y'all got something for me? Hit me up. Y'all want Kevin Samuels to be exposed to this fragrance community? Hit me fucking up. Y'all want the bullshit to stop? Hit me up. Straight up, you know somebody that's been fucked over by Kevin Samuels? Tell them to hit me up. Let's tell your story. Let's tell your truth. Let's hear your truth. Then, let's try to hear Kevin Samuels' side. Right? Because there's always two sides to the story. And I'm about the truth. You can't just listen to one side without hearing the other side. And this is why I went to his live stream to call him out. To see what he has to say. Right? But the motherfucker ignores me. Right? You don't get the truth by listening to half-truths on one side of the story. You always got to listen to two sides. Got to listen to both sides. Then y'all make up your mind. But the dude ignores. He ignores. And this is what I'm letting y'all know. So, when you ignore somebody who's trying to come to the truth, what does that tell you? This motherfucker is guilty. There's only one other one other option here. The dude is guilty. Right? He's guilty. When, when someone accuses you of doing something, what you do? You ignore him? You ignore him or you try to prove your innocence? Most people would ignore him, but we would never know if you're, if you're innocent or you're guilty, right? If someone accuses me of something, I'm going a, I'm to a either admit it, I'm going to defend myself, and I'm going to prove myself. One or the other. One of the three. When someone accuses me of something, I'm either going to say I'm sorry, I was wrong, or I'm going to defend myself and be like, fuck you, you wrong, here's my proof, this is what I did. I'm a fucking man. I'm not going to run like a bitch. I'm not going to ignore I'm not going to charge somebody $300 to talk to me to find out. No, fuck that. That's manipulation. I don't do that shit. That's some quid pro quo shit. I don't do that shit. That's some bribery shit. I don't do that shit. So, Kevin Samuels, when you get this video again, bro, know that I came to you. And I came to your motherfucking live stream with Big Bear Business and with Bowtie Frames. And they seen my fucking comments and I'm going to post it in the next video. So, you know I'm not bullshitting. None of y'all. Could call me out on my bullshit because I'm going to have the proof to back it up. Now, this fragrance community has convicted you. They are convicting you of your sin, of you fucking over people. Not just one, not just two, not just three, but damn near almost six motherfucking people. What the fuck do you have to say, Kevin Samuels? What the fuck do you have to say? So I know some of your fucking subscribers have been coming to this channel and ask, Oh, you just hate. No, I'm not hating, motherfucker. I'm not hating. This me calling you out. What's up with you, bruh? What the fuck is up with you? Oh, I'm a business... Oh, you a businessman fucking over people. What the fuck? Oh, I give advice. Oh, I charge 300... Man, look. Look. I'm gonna tell you something, bruh. You, don't, you ain't fucking over no Mexicans. You ain't fucking over no white people. You fucking over your own people. 
You fucking over your own black women and black men. And I hate to say this because people have been coming to me saying, why is Big Bear Business supporting this dude? Now, your image is painting a negative light on other YouTubers. On other fragrance YouTubers. And I doubt that they even fucking know about it. I doubt that Big Bear Business knows what kind of light you have painted on yourself. This is the thing. I doubt that Bowtie Fragrance Guy knows about your bullshit and about uh, the many people that you have fucked over. So now you got this whole damn fragrance community looking at Big Bear Business and Bowtie Fragrance Guy like the, all these motherfuckers are snakes. Is that the case? Because I'm going to post this video to Big Bear Business and I'm going to post this video to Bowtie Fragrance Guy. Is that what y'all about? Because everyone else saying that Kevin Samuel was a snake. Is Big Bear Business a snake? Is Bowtie Fragrance Guy a snake? Because that's what this whole damn fragrance community is doing. They looking at all three of y'all right now like y'all all in the same fucking gang. Guilty by association. And I'm just keeping it real. This not me convicting him. This the fragrance fucking community. Right now, I'm total up to six, seven, or eight people total talking shit about Kevin Samuels. What can I say, man? I just cut the grass clear. And you see the snakes scatter, slither away. Kevin Samuels is the biggest motherfucking snake in this fucking fragrance community. Jeremy Fragrance is one of them too. But everybody should know that by now. Sad, bro. This sad. And I totally, honestly respect Big Bear Business. I don't have one problem with him crushing the bucks. That wasn't really much of a call out. And I ain't got no beef with Bowtie Fragrance guy. I think the dude has some class. And doing his thing. No big deal. No big deal. Ain't got no problem with not, neither one of those two dudes. But these two dudes have been caught in in his fucking live streams multiple times. Why? Why? Y'all like fucking over people too? Y'all like supporting people who fuck over people. Because that's exactly what y'all doing. Big Bear Business and Bowtie Fragrance Guy. Yeah. Yeah, that's what y'all doing. Here's the thing. Maybe y'all don't know about this dude. So this is from me to you. Bowtie Fragrance Guy and Big Bear Business. From me to you. From me to you guys. Now y'all see the light of day. What y'all gonna do? Get on another, another, another live stream with this dude and let this whole damn fragrance community see how BS y'all are? How much of a snake supporter y'all are? Look. Big Bear Business, I know... I know you do corporate cocksucking. Botella fragrance, you may do it too. I don't really know. You know, I know Big Bear Business accepts free shit. A lot of fragrance reviews accept free shit. We know that shit. Not a big deal, man. A lot of people do it. I call all of y'all out on that shit. It's, no, it's nothing personal with me. It's just calling it out. Why do I call it out? Because many other people get fucked over from y'all subjective reviews. It's all subjective. Oh, you're going to see. I know y'all what y'all going to come with me. Oh, I make sure I let people know, you know, it's just my opinion. Go test it for blah, blah. Y'all got many excuses why y'all do y'all shit. Y'all got many excuses why why you accept free shit and donations and sponsors. Yeah, y'all got all the excuses in the world. But the one thing is hard for y'all to do is walk that fucking narrow path and not do it. And not accept anything. And not be bought. And not sell your soul. It's different. There's a difference between... Selling your soul and then stealing the soul of someone else and fucking over the soul of someone else. That's what Kevin Samuel does. He steals their soul, steals their money, steals their happiness. There's a difference between just selling your soul, but then when you involve other people in the selling of your soul... That's when I have a problem with it, man. That's when I have to speak out, at least speak out the truth and let people see the truth. Let people see the light of day for what it is. 
I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I called out many people. And I'm going to keep calling out. I call out myself. I call out myself. Every day, I call out myself. I eat too much. I'm getting fat. I'm 46 years old. I don't give a fuck anymore. I just don't. I think I care more about other people than I do myself, to be honest with you. And I'm, talk- I'm not talking about anything materialistic, anything tangible. I'm talking about your soul. I want to see a lot of people come to truth. I want to see people be honest. I want to see people come together in truth. Not in this fucking facade and this materialistic shit and this money shit. That's not what it's about, man. That is not what it's about. You could be rich. But that money, that dollar bill, nothing but a fucking facade. Y'all gonna say, oh no, it's not a facade. You buy me, pay my rent, have a nice house, have food. Yeah, we understand all that shit. We understand how that shit works. But what is the main underlying truth? Your soul. How you get that money. Do you get that money with respect? Did you earn that money fair and square? Or did you fuck over somebody for that money? Question, man. These are the questions I bring up. This is the question I'm going I'm to tag Kevin Samuels with. But he won't answer. Because you got to pay him. What type of bullshit is that? This is the type of motherfucker y'all fucking, y'all fucking support. Y'all do collaboration live streams with. They charge your African American community black men and women. Oh, dog, man, you ain't got no right to talk about black. Fuck you, bitch. I got black family, black brothers and sisters. Black grandchildren. Don't make me pull out some fucking pictures for y'all. I was raised by a black man. I grew up in a black neighborhood. Got beat up by black kids growing up every day, fighting every day. I have a right to speak about it, about black people. Why? Because black people are in my fucking family. My brother is blacker than Big Bear Business and fucking Bowtie Fragrance got put together. You want me to prove it? This some bullshit, man. This some straight bullshit. And y'all know it. Y'all know it. This your boy Original Dog Man. I did what I could for you for Fragcom. And I went to that live stream. But the dude don't want to answer. Why? Because he running. He running from the truth. And that's what I bring to the table is the truth. I hope y'all can respect it. Peace the fuck out.